Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms all around us, they leave their signs and secrets in symbolism. And on my channel I bring all of this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, there was a terrible incident where Mr. Rockefeller's son has died in a plane crash here, and he ended up crashing right here, just north of New York, right here, right into an actual horse stable area. And this has all the signs of a, even a sacrifice event, if you will to set up for what's coming for the end of the age and the day when the accuser is revealed in the Bible now the people that that are doing all of this the higher echelon people they do not look at life and death the same as most all of us this man dying in this plane crash is the same as going through an open door that's what they consider it they consider that the people are hosts and that now this man's spirit has gone through an open door. Even where this happened at, see how it says purchase? Because Jesus Christ has purchased us. And we have an open door. Whenever we pass, we go right into heaven. It's all set and done dealed. And that's how these people work the world. Now, on my channel I've shown how all of the world is mapping out this event coming. This hangs in the United Nations, in the United Nations Security Council room. This mural shows the end of the age coming, and it shows every single ruler and country on the world working to have this event happen. You can see this dome here, and you can, in here you can see this like alligator, and he's holding this sword. On the day when this phoenix burns up and is renewed is the day of the rapture and the beginning of the end of the age the dead will rise. The, those with Jesus will go through this cabinet in blue and go up to heaven. The horsemen will begin to ride. The dead that are not with Jesus will rise to utter contempt. They are up here waiting on an alignment. And this is all coming right here, the next age, to get this great sword, which is the sword of the second horseman of the apocalypse. This means war. And it's all going according to Ezekiel 38 to bring everybody out to war, to bring them all. Well, this incident happened. He crashed in his Piper plane right here at 120 College Avenue in Purchase. We are actually going to show right where he crashed this dome. We're actually going to also show this that hangs in the Denver International Airport murals. See how this is as a dome? This is showing the USA destroyed and then World War III starting. Ten horns betray the USA. Ten nations. Here's Michelle Obama. Here's Mr. Obama as the leopard. The turtle represents the USA. It's called Turtle Island by the Indians. This whale represents the rapture. All going up right here. Now we're going to show that there. Let's show this glyph here also which coordinates with it of Akhenaten. See this individual coming down called the Little Horn? He goes through Obama. He does this large nuclear event with the key to open the abyss. And then they begin giving out this new type of Eucharist right here. We're going to show this over there. Here is the Dog Star, part of God's throne, the Star of Bethlehem. On the left side is the accuser. He comes down to accuse us. On the right side is the seat where Jesus Christ sits, the power of God. See the phoenix ready to rise like the whale? And then we all go to the throne. Jesus Christ goes and sits on top. And then he has a left arm and a right arm on the earth. And he's going to put two nasty things in his, in his arms. He's going to harvest the earth. There is not going to be any mercy on his right arm. And there's not going to be anything on his left arm. He's going to bring destruction. Jesus Christ is going to bring the wrath of the Lamb. And this is all mapped out right here in front of us, right where the crash happened. 
This is where he crashed. He crashed into a horse stable, exactly as the four horsemen getting ready to ride. Right here. Now I've shown how all of the world is mapped out for this event coming. Here is the dome. See the dome right here? A giant bomb that is set to blow up nearly everything. See how they have the two domes right here? The phoenix rising. See this is a magic wand too, with electricity. There, there is magic. Jesus Christ turned water into wine and walked on water and was risen from the dead. Well there's the dome. Now on this day is when Obama falls also. It's the grievous head wound coming and he looks like this cat. There he is. All of the world is mapped out like this, like a giant grid. Not just the cities, every country, every continent, every island is in the perfect place to tell the story of God. And then it will all be rewritten, literally, just as he said. There's the cat. There's the dome. Oops, sorry. There's the dome. Exactly as we showed. And then the four horsemen begin to ride. He crashed into a stable. See right here the dome? All perfect. Exactly as I keep showing on my channel over and over and over again. This is done repetitively. All day long this event will be mapped out over and over and over again. It represents the end of days coming and the hand of God when he begins World War III. In Ezekiel 38 he says he's setting a trap for the world to start World War III. And then Jesus Christ is going to send a great deception to fool and trick everybody that did not have faith in him and to test the lukewarm virgins. Well this is one thing, let's show some more. Look at that, that is perfect. There's the domes. There's the cat. Now let's show something else. Show how it's all mapped out all around the world. All of the world is mapped out for this event coming. Here is where the crash was. See right here? The dog star. Jesus Christ will go to the top. He is going to put something nasty on this right side now. There's no more mercy and grace and he's going to have this one here coming also. So both hands are going to be bringing destruction upon the earth. The harvest. Do you see right here the dog? Perfect. Here's the dog star. He reaches way over. This is his arm in the water. And he's reaching way over and he's triggering the Pope. Do you see now this individual right here? In the Bible he's called the little horn. See him right here? And he goes down into this Pope man. He's reaching out with his arm and he's getting that new Eucharist that actually comes down from heaven. That's what it says. It is given to him from heaven. And he goes off for 40 and 2 months to deceive the world. There he is. Look by every line there is where the plane crashed, right there. Confess with your mouth, the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. Get a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. This is real, and at some point this will begin. As Christians, you should have patience and faith. You should not be pining for this day to happen right away. You should be trying to bring as many people as you can to the Lord Jesus. Save water so that even if we are taken you will have water left here for all your brethren around you. Thank you very much everybody. May the Lord Jesus Christ have mercy on us all. This is all verified, verified, and verified. All verifying the Word of God perfectly. Thank you very much everybody. Hallelujah.